Welcome back to SLN Academy. Today's topic is Simple Machines. What is a machine? Machine is anything that reduces the effort required to do the work. Machines are the tools that make our daily tasks faster and easier. These machines are found everywhere. In the toys that you play with, in the things such as nail cutter, drill machine, bottle opener, screws, etc. Big complex machines are also made up of multiple simple machines. In this video, we will talk about simple machines in detail. Friends, after signing in, click on the subscribe button given below. And after subscribing, click on the bell icon twice to get the notifications about new videos on this channel. Subscription is completely free. Complex Machines Different machines are run by different kind of fuels in our daily life such as coal helps in running of steam engines. Petrol helps in car and diesel in trucks etc. Types of Machines Machines are mainly of two types. They are Simple machines and complex machines. Machines can be as simple as a pair of tongues or scissors or as complicated as a computer or a tractor. Complex machines Machines which have many parts and a complex structure are called as complex machines. Complex machines are made up of many simple machines. Example Ship Helicopter Rocket Laptop Computer etc. Simple Machines Machines which have very few parts and a simple structure are called Simple Machines. Simple Machines have very few parts. They are Effort Fulcrum and Load these parts do not move on their own. They need external force to move. Effort is the area where force is applied. Fulcrum the fixed point at which the machine is supported and can be turned or moved. Load is the body on which work has to be done. Need for Machines Machines are needed to lift heavy loads by applying little effort. They are needed to change the effort in the desired direction. And to speed up the motion of a body. For doing unsafe and dangerous work. Types of simple machines. 
There are six types of simple machines present. They are lever, pulley, wheel and axle are somewhat related to lever type only. Inclined plane, screw and wedge are related to inclined plane. So the types of simple machines are lever, pulley, wheel and axle, inclined plane, screw and wedge. Lever Lever is a simple machine used to lift weight. It is a rod and free to move about in a fixed point. The word lever comes from the French word lever which means to raise. Levers have two parts, a fulcrum and a bar. Fulcrum is the point on which a bar is supported. Lever is a rod which is free to move at a fixed point which is fulcrum. Here this is the example of a fulcrum in the middle. Now here comes the load or resistance. Lever is a simple machine used to lift weight. Lever is a rod and free to move about in a fixed point. It may help you to scoop, to raise, to lift or seesaw. Load or resistance is placed at one end of the rod. To lift this load or resistance, we need to put some effort. Effort is applied on another end of the lever. It is not mandatory to have load at the right hand side. We can also show the same type of lever in this way as well. There are mainly three types of levers. They are class 1 lever, class 2 lever and class 3 lever. Class 1 lever in class 1 lever, fulcrum or fixed point is in the middle. The effort is applied on one side of the fulcrum and the resistance or load on the other side. Example of class 1 levers are scissors, seesaw, pliers. Scissors is an example of class 1 lever. Fulcrum, the fixed point, is at the middle of the object. Load at one end and effort is at the other end. Plier is another example of class 1 lever. Fulcrum, the fixed point, is at the middle of the object. Load at one end and effort is at another end. Seesaw Here also fulcrum is at the middle of the object. Class 2 Lever For Class 2 Lever, resistance or load will be in the middle. The effort is applied on one side of the resistance and fulcrum is located on the another side. Example, wheelbarrow, bottle opener, nutcracker, etc.
Another example of class 2 lever is nutcracker. Here nut is placed at the center which acts as the load. The effort is applied on one side of the resistance and the fulcrum is located on the other side. Class 3 lever Effort is in the middle. The resistance is on one side of the effort and the fulcrum is located on the other side. Example Tweezers, kitchen tongues, etc. Different classes of levers. Levers are classified by the relative position of the fulcrum, effort, and resistance or load. In class 1 level, fulcrum is in the middle. Example scissors, seesaw, pliers. In class 2, resistance is in the middle. Example wheelbarrow, bottle opener, and nutcracker, etc. In class 3 level, effort is in the middle. Example tweezers, kitchen tongues, etc. Wheel and Axle It is a wheel, something that is round and moves in a circular fashion. It can be attached to a bar or a solid object on its center, which is called as axle. An axle is a rod that holds the wheel. When the wheel rotates, the axle rotates. It increases the speed. A rolling pin, a steering wheel, door knob, pencil sharp knob are the examples of wheel and axle. Example of wheel and axle are water well, skateboard, Roller skates, wheel and axle to lift an anchor of a ship, steering wheel of a car, etc. People are using these simple machines in many forms in olden days as well. This is one example of a water wheel driving a rope winch to lift loads in mining in olden days. Pulley. Pulley is a simple machine which uses a wheel and a rope to move heavy objects. It is used to pull, lift and to lower the objects. Wind blinds, flagpoles, cello tape rolls, cranes and bicycle chains are some of the examples. Fixed pulley. This is a fixed pulley. A fixed pulley has an axle attached to the supporting structure. And this is how pulley works. It is used to make lifting easier. This is an example of belt and pulley system. A belt and pulley system is with two or more pulleys in common to a belt. This allows for power and speed to be transmitted across axles. Inclined plane It is a slope 
over which the load or resistance works down. An inclined plane is a simple machine which makes it easier to move a heavy object to higher elevation. It reduces the amount of force needed to lift the object. Let us see how inclined plane works. It is also known as a ramp. Some effort needed to be applied upon the object and the load or resistance works down. Another example is wheelchair ramp. Moving an object up an inclined plane requires less force than lifting it straight up. Escalators and slanted conveyor belts are also forms of inclined plane. Inclined planes are also used as entertainment for people to slide down in a controlled way. In playground slides, water slides, sky slopes, and skateboard parks, etc. Stairs and ladders are also examples of inclined plane. Inclined planes have been used by people since prehistoric times to move heavy objects. Screw A screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. A screw is a simple machine. It is used to hold the things together. The bottle cap, the light bulb, cord jack are few examples of screws. Nut and bolt Cork screw are also examples of a screw. The screw consists of a narrow inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. Wedge A double inclined plane is called as wedge. It is a simple machine which helps to tear apart solid objects. Axe is one example of bridge. Let us see how axe works in tearing the wooden object. Axe, knife, nail cutter, Wood chisel are few examples of bridge. Care for machines. We need to take care of these machines to make them function well. We can take care of these machines by lubricating the moving parts to avoid harsh sounds. To avoid rust, they should be painted. Keep the machines covered to protect them from dust. It helps them in functioning well. Let us play a small game to check our understanding about simple machines. And don't forget to subscribe. Show well. What type of simple machine is this? And the answer is, edges of a shovel is a wedge. Shovel can also be used as a lever which is used to lift snow or soil.
player. What type of simple machine is this? And the answer is player is a class 1 lever. It is because fulcrum, the fixed point, is at the middle of the object. Clamp What type of simple machine is this? And the answer is clamp is a screw. Broom What type of simple machine is this? And the answer is broom is a lever. Fulcrum is in the middle. Effort and resistance are at the ends. So it is class 1 type of lever. Seesaw What type of simple machine is this? And the answer is Seesaw is a class 1 lever. Bicycle Identify the simple machines present in this. And the answer is wheels and pedals on a bicycle or wheels and axles. Screws hold the bicycle together. Gear shifts and brake handles are levers. Gears are a pulley system. Did you know, Great Pyramid of Egypt is made with simple machines. Identify the types of simple machines that they use it to build these pyramids and write down all your answers in the comment section mentioned below. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on subscribe button and don't forget to like, comment or share. After subscribing, click on the bell icon twice to get the alerts about new videos on this channel.